Decision analysis. This is an introduction to decision analysis. And decision analysis is a subset. It's one of the courses in operations research. It's, it's a subset, one of the topic. Okay, let's call it a topic. It's part of the course outline for operation research, decision analysis. Every woman being we encounter decision making at any point in time. How do we analyze decisions so that we get the optimal cause of action? At the end of this lesson, Lena should be able to divine decision analysis, state steps in decision making processes, state types of decision situations, state phases of decision making processes. I'm Abdullahi Falade, I'm Operation Research Facilitator for more than a decade and happy to share my knowledge and experience with you. You are welcome to this video. Definitions. Decision analysis has been described as a scientific technique that consists of collection of principles and methods. Whose principal objective is to hear decision making by individuals, group of individuals, management of organization, and others who have to make one decision or the other. So in decision analysis, we are using scientific technique that involves collection of principles and method, and the objective is to aid the decision-making process, which could be by individuals, by a group of individuals, management of organization, board of trustees, and the likes. In other words, decision analysis is very useful in finding optimal cause of action and strategy. When a decision-maker is confronted with many options and uncertain or risk-filled pattern of future events, So what are the stages of decision making? We have two stages of decision making. The first one is structural stages, which involves getting the information, organizing the information, and identifying a specific decision problem. The second stage is the decision maker needs to develop methods and technologies to assemble the information. And that's where the use of data analytics tools comes in and you can agree with me that operation research will take integral part in artificial intelligence revolution and you can see now when it comes to artificial intelligence machine learning it involves use of decision tree so and the likes and all this involve a critical analysis of the decision making process which can help in market segmentation it can help in a lot of things so these are the situations whereby you need to make decision and this decision has to be something that comes up in a in a kind of a systemic manner so what are the types of decision analysis. If you are watching this video for the first time, press the subscribe button to have the opportunity to watch more videos in this channel, which are promising to be interesting. Click the bell notification also so that you can have a notification signal whenever I upload new videos. The first step in decision analysis is definition of decision problem. Your problem needs to be divine. Your problem needs to be what? Your problem needs to be divine. You must have a divine decision problem. And also, Once you're able to know what you are trying to solve, the decision problem you want to solve, explore available data and information that can help you to solve the problem. 
Then, you state your alternative course of action through this information you have gathered. From that, you can now analyze what are the feasible alternatives out of all these alternatives. What are those that are feasible among the available alternatives? Which one are feasible in solving your problem? And you select the best out of these feasible alternatives. And lastly, you implement the decision. And after doing that, you should be able to evaluate when you make the decision, were you able to get the expected result so that you can help someone else, just like in product review. After a lot of information, blah, 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 you end up getting the product. So your evaluation, what has been your experience, should be able to help another person in making decision whether to buy such a product or not. So, giving an evaluation report on what has been the result after you have made your decision will improve the system. So, what are the problems associated with decision analysis? The first one is sequential decisions that involve a certainty and probability estimates. So the sequential decisions are model using decision tree and influence diagram. The second problem is when you have a multiple conflicting goals and objective. A lot of conflicting goals. So it's, it's always a problem when you are trying to analyze the decision making process. So what are the structure? The first thing in is decision alternatives, and these are the alternative course of action that are available and feasible. So take note of that. Out of the structure, we have state of nature. This is IUV, independent, uncontrollable variables that occur with feasibilities. IUV, independent, uncontrollable variables that occur with feasibilities. And the third structure is conditional payoffs. So conditional payoffs is the outcomes of the combination of events and decision alternatives. So sometimes we said conditional payoff is equal to event plus decision alternatives. So, so the equality means outcome, the result. So conditional payoff equals combination of events and decision alternatives. So what are the phases of decision making process? The first is decision framing phase. The second thing is deterministic analysis phase. The third is probabilistic analysis phase. And the fourth is evaluation phase. So these are the four phases in decision making process. So the decision framing phase involved you to Structure is a structural phase. The deterministic stage is for you to know to give account for the certainty rather than uncertainty. The probabilistic is trying to cater for the uncertainty that can evolve in your decision making process. And the evaluation is for you to be able to identify the decision outcomes that correspond to sequence of decision and events represented in the decision tree. So what are the types of decision-making process? We have decision-making under certainty, decision-making under uncertainty, decision-making under risk, and decision-making under conflict. So out of all this decision-making process, the types of decision-making process, we have uh, two out of them that is calculation-oriented, and that is decision-making under uncertainty, and decision making under risk. Decision making under risk. So decision making under certainty and decision making under risk. So these are the two types of decision making process that involve calculation. So decision making under certainty doesn't require any calculation. So because we are starting with the situation, 
So there's a level of certainty. But when you talk about decision making under conflict, it's associated with game theory. It's associated with game theory. It's like a context. Context, competition. So it doesn't involve a kind of uh, complicated calculations or more or less of no calculation. So in this video, we shall only talk about the decision making under uncertainty and risk in this video or in the subsequent one. The calculation involved in these two, decision making under uncertainty and decision making under risk. So we have some definitions also. What is payoff table? Is a table that profiles solutions to decision problem. And we have decision tree. Decision tree is a graphical representation of the decision process that involves all the structures, which is decision alternatives, state of nature, probability attached to the state of nature, and the conditional benefit and losses. So it consists of network of nodes and branches. I hope you've learned one or two things in this video. We have some practice questions for you, which you can go through at your leisure time to kind of recap what you have studied so far. Thank you for listening to this video. Press like, share, and subscribe for the next, and subscribe so that, press the notification so that you can have the opportunity to watch the next video and learn one or two things. Thanks. And bye for now.